Hello and welcome to our new lesson for English learners in grade 8. My name is Sanya Bozinovich and I will be your English teacher today. Our today's lesson is Multicultural Society. On this slide you can see the learning outcomes for today's lesson. As you can see in this lesson you will be reading a text about multicultural society and you will be critically thinking and comparing the information about different cultures and discussing the importance of understanding the differences between cultures. This is what you need for today's lesson. Your device with the internet connection, a QR code scanner, your notebook. If you have everything you need, then you are ready for today's lesson. Let's start. We will start thinking about multicultural societies. Pause this video and draw this table into your notebook. In the first column, think and write what do you already know about multicultural societies? What vocabulary do you have? What concepts have you already learned? Then stop and think what you would like to know about this topic and write in the middle column. Please leave the third column for the end of today's lesson. Then we'll see how much you have learned in today's lesson. I hope that in the first column you have words like multiculturalism and some ideas like that multicultural society is a society which has many different cultures, different races, nationalities, religions, that all live in harmony. Check what you have in your first column. If you don't have these words and expressions, please add them. If you do, check what else you have in your first column. Maybe you can add some more. In the second column, what I want to know, my questions are, why is this topic important? And what are some examples of multicultural people, multicultural cities and multicultural societies? What are your questions? If you don't have these two, please add them and then check your own questions. When you have checked your table, once again, you're ready to continue this lesson. We will talk about multiculturalism and multiculturalism is about sharing. Please read the words that you can see on this slide and try to unscramble. Think what words are these? Can you unscramble to find some words that you can use to talk about multiculturalism? Please pause this video and work on these words I hope you have the right answers and the right answers are you can share art, your beliefs, religious beliefs too, celebrations, festivals, food, languages, music and traditions. You can add to this list of course. Can you give any examples? Please write your examples in your notebook. And then you can share your examples with your classmates and your teacher. Let me remind you, the words were art, beliefs, celebrations, festivals, food, languages, music, traditions, and all those words that you might have added to this list. Our next task is a reading task. You will read an interview. It is an interview with a girl whose name is Anna. You can scan the code that you can see on this slide or you can use the link that you can see in the top right corner bit.ly slash multicultural Anna. While you are reading, please think about how you can answer the questions that you can see on this slide. And the questions are, what is the interview about and who is Anna? Why is Anna a citizen of the world? When you finish reading and when you answer these questions, please think. 
Do you know anyone with a similar life story? How different or how similar is Anna's story to your life story? Please pause this video, read the text and answer these questions in your notebook. Let's stop and think how much we have learned about Anna from the text. Read carefully the statements and decide if they are true or false. If you are not sure, you can always go back to the text and find your answers. When you have all your answers, think. How are all these issues related to the main topic of the interview? In the text that we have read, Anna and the interviewer mention these words. Do you know what they mean? How do the interviewer and Anna use these words? Can you find the examples of the use of these words in the text? If you remember, Anna calls herself a multilingual person and she speaks about an international school. She mentions some multicultural societies and she even calls herself a multicultural person. She mentions some friends who have immigrant parents or grandparents. And she speaks about influences on her life, how she was, has been influenced. And she describes herself as empathetic and open-minded. Think about these words and what you know about them. Then go back to the text and find how they were used in the text. Please copy the words into your notebook. What advantages are there in sharing? When you share, Anna says, you become an open-minded, empathetic person. Maybe you become more knowledgeable, more tolerant person too. Think about how sharing with other cultures, sharing with people from different countries, helps you change and become a better person. In your notebook, copy the words and explain how sharing in a multicultural setting helps you achieve these qualities. Then, think about what else can help. Can you add at least one more adjective to this list? When you read the interview with Anna, you can notice that there is no introductory part and there is no conclusion. They're missing from the interview. Please go back to the text and think. What would be the appropriate introduction to the main part that you can read? The part with the questions and Anna's answers. And what would be your conclusion? Please write one two or three sentences to introduce the topic and then write one, two or three sentences as your conclusion to this text. You can use the ideas and the words from the lesson and you can use the ideas and the words from the text, from the main part. When you have written your introduction and your conclusion, please share your ideas with your classmates and your teacher and listen to their feedback. Diving into a second culture, diving into your third culture, makes you see different ways to achieve a goal worth achieving, some people say. Also, diving into a second or third culture makes you identified with the culture of your country or birth and others. Please read carefully these two statements and think, do you agree? Do you disagree? Why? In your notebook, write two sentences about these two statements. Please agree or disagree and give your reasons. It's time to get back to our table from the beginning of the lesson. Please use your notes, use all the words, materials from this lesson, and 
complete the L column, the third column of the table from the beginning of this lesson. What have you learned? What have you gained from this lesson? Pause this video, please, and complete the table in your notebook. I hope you have learned a lot, and I hope you are happy with how much you have learned. It's time to show how much you have learned. It's time for your speaking task. It will be a one-minute talk on the topic of the multicultural me. You will start the preparations for your talk by writing down the questions from the text, from the interview, and answering them about yourself. You will answer the same questions that Anna answered in the text. Plus, you will add one more question, so that you have six questions and six answers. Then you will arrange the answers into a one-minute talk. Remember to add the introduction and the conclusion. Here's your task. Speak for one minute about how multicultural you feel. Organize your talk into an introduction, the main part and the conclusion. Use the information and the vocabulary from this lesson. And when you have your talk, practice speaking until you're happy with the content, the organization and your fluency. When you are happy, record your talk and share the recording with your classmates and your teacher. To record your talk, you can use the tool walkaroo.com. You can see the link on this slide. Here's the checklist to help you. When you are ready to record, please check. Have you talked about your multicultural self, your life, your experiences? Have you spoken about your own and other countries and cultures? Organize your talk into three parts. Use the ideas and the vocabulary from this lesson. Spoken in correct full sentences. Critically about the ideas and express the opinion at the, at the end of your talk. Is your talk a one minute long talk? And is it a logical and respectful talk? If you have all the ticks, you are ready to record your talk and share it with your teacher and your classmates. Here's one more task for you. Why don't you create a class survey, send three to five questions to your classmates and find out how multicultural they feel? You can ask your classmates to write or to record their answers to you. Then analyze your answers and see if there are any patterns, if you can notice any similarities and any differences from how you feel and how Anna feels. And then you can create your own report. How multicultural is your class? Write your report about multiculturalism. And one more task. Creative me. If you feel creative, why don't you create an invitation for a multicultural celebration? Start with, you are invited. Think. What do you celebrate? Who do you invite? How? Where? What details do you want to include in your invitation? When you write your invitation, you can share it with your teacher and your classmates. And the last activity in this lesson is your exit ticket. Describe your ideal multicultural society in one sentence. Please write your sentence in your notebook. Also, create your own symbol. It can be a flag or some other kind of symbol of a multicultural community. What symbols, what colors do you need to include into your symbol? for a multicultural community. When you finish your exit ticket, that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed thinking and learning about multicultural societies. And goodbye until our next lesson.